was down 16. With seven minutes left, they put an 11 0 run together to get within five. Now the free throw cuts it back to five again. You are just joining us tonight with about seven and a half minutes to go in the second half. Head coach Mark Turgeon was ejected on two technical fouls, so Scott Spinelli has been guiding the Maryland fortunes. A roaring comeback to get this into overtime. For both of you guys, I mean, how did you react to those two quick tees on, on Mark and, and kind of rallied yourselves at that point? Um, everybody was just playing inspired. Everybody was trying to win for Coach. Um, he felt it was unfair that he got those technicals and was trying to get the win for him. He knew he couldn't watch the game, so we wanted to go back there and tell him we won the game. That would have been nice. So, um, you know. I feel the same way. I think we came together as a team right after, you know, the two technical fouls. And, um, you know, Coach Benelli did a great job stepping in and being, you know, the head coach out there for us at the moment. And, you know, he called some great players for us to put us in a position to almost win the game. But, you know, we came a little short. And, you know, it's not a good feeling getting, you know, having a loss, one another loss on the road. So, you know, we just got to come back and regroup and, you know, move on to the next game. Well, what did you see with your shot at the end of the first overtime? The shot at the end of the first overtime. Um, I mean, I just knew our team needed it. We was down by three. You know, Coach Manelli had no confidence to put the play. Um, for me, I made the shot. Thank God. Overtime. Questions for Coach Spoon. How did you feel like that rejection galvanized? Yeah, well, I think at halftime, you know, we came in, Coach was obviously upset at the effort and how we finished the half. And, you know, he really kind of lit the guys up. And, you know, he actually talked a little bit about, hey, bring a little bit more energy this half. And I think, you know, when he got thrown out, obviously our team responded quite well. Um, you know, we played with a lot more energy, we played with a lot more purpose, um, we played with a lot more fire. And I think, you know, we kept talking about, you know, Coach Turgeon was kept continuously pushing these guys in practice. To sustain a longer period of playing uh, a little bit harder. He really played in spurts uh, in the first half, and then the second half, when he got thrown out, we really sustained a, to a high level. At least our energy level was there on both ends of the floor. Um, but, you know, a lot of it was because the guys really were fired up to Coach Turk. You know, I was a substitute teacher, um, you know, just trying to have the lesson plan, and I was just trying to implement what I needed to implement. But, you know, the guys wanted to play for the head coach, and I think that's, you know, really, you know, uh, shows a little bit about, you know, the. Uh, where our team is heading in the future. But it's a tough loss, and give Miami credit, they stepped up and made plays. Tough loss, though. Do you think that even though you didn't win, that it can be kind of a galvanizing moment for you guys going forward? And any time you, know, you lose, none of us like to lose. I mean, it's you know, we all, we all, we all, we all lose. But I think we can build on something that at least knowing that you know, the head coach is willing to put himself out there, even in front of the game, to get his team fired up. To make our guys understand, they got to play with a lot more intensity. Um, I, I think we'll be able to build on that. You know, we had some guys really make some pretty heady plays too. We actually we talked a lot about awareness, you know, recognition in this game, and we did it late in the game. I mean, you know, we stepped up to the plate. We had some you know, switches that really weren't called from the bench. They were doing it. Some other stuff. You know, we had talked about the scouting report. And our guys implemented on the well in the second half with the defense away from us. So there's a lot of positives to build on, you know, as far as we're concerned. But, you know, um, at the end of the day, we want to win. Our guys want to win. They work extremely hard in practice, two men. Um, so it is disappointing. But, yeah, I think we get to, and, and, you know, looking at our team and as a roster, as many of you know, we get a lot of young guys. But, you know, uh, you know we want to win on the road. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can be able to build on this you know, moving forward. Scott, did you have a. Was there a, a, a plan for, for how things would, you know, would, would unfold on the bench if, if, if the head coach were to leave or did he, did he you know, say anything to you right when he left about what to, you know, what to do or you just knew? Not right. I mean, I've worked with Coach Turner for six years. Sure. You know, we've had a great relationship and I, I really know his system, um, what he's trying to get accomplished uh, as a coach, you know, to his team and practice in the game. So it was an easy transition um, based on the fact that we've been together so long. Um, but at the same time, again, I, I think I was more than a substitute teacher at that time, you know, trying to implement our game plan that we, as a coaching staff, had been prior to the game. Um, obviously, we kind of had to do some different things in terms of pressing, which you know, normally we have a pressing team. Um, but again, our energy level was there at that point, and I think our guys were fired up. They were playing maybe early on a little bit too much emotion, you know, um, and we kind of, you know, playing with no purpose.
us there for a few minutes, but we, we calmed down, uh, give our guys credit. They executed very, very well down the stretch to tie it. You know, some of the plays that they ran, set tremendous screens. It wasn't just, you know, Terrell stepped up and made plays, but his teammates stepped up and got them open. Um, so give our guys credit for that. But to answer your question, I think, you know, for you know, being around Coach Jordan for so long, I, uh, I know his system, I know his philosophy, so it was an easy transition there. And, you know, the other coaches were involved also. <coughs> Six years with Turgeon, has this scenario happened before? Technical Honestly, it has almost, almost has happened before, yeah. but uh, it didn't happen. And I think, you know, um, uh, you know, Coach Turgeon is a fiery competitor, as we all know him to be. And I think, um, you know, he's really trying to instill a toughness with our, with our team um, as it relates to, to winning on the road. You know, we talked about, you know, you know playing with a little bit more intensity. We know we're not going to get a lot of. Uh, you know, calls on the road, we're going to have to overcome some adversity. And uh, I think he was just trying to send a message to our guys that he's a fighter. Uh, he's very passionate about his players, and, and he wants to teach them life lessons through basketball. And at the end of the, you know, I, I think that's what he was showing our guys. Look, it's, you know, if we're not going to, you know, put forth effort, then, you know, listen, I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice for you guys to hopefully respond and be fired up. So, no, it had never happened before, but... You know, it was cool. It's been close before. You know, you know the behavior or the, the yeah. pattern that leads. Yeah, to yeah. we tried to grab him on the second one. You know, and then after the first one, and you know, I think he was, um, you know, he was really intense at that point, and uh, you know, we couldn't get to him in time. You know, never want the head coach to be thrown out of the game. Sure. Um, and, uh, you know, but again, it happens, and I think Coach did it. For, coach Durkin did it for a great purpose. To be quite honest, with you. he wasn't done because he's a hot head or anything like that. He did it to get his team fired up, and he left it with us assistant coaches to. You know, try to get our guys rallied and then rally for the head coach. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it. All right, guys.